Hey guys, so today we're going to be covering how to identify opposite adjacent and hypotenuse sides of right triangles. Now when we first start to learn about right triangles, we only care about finding out their missing sides. And in order to do that, we would use the Pythagorean theorem, which was a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And then all we had to do was focus on, um, well, which side is a, b, and c. Now, when we first started that, we always identified the side opposite of the right angle as our C side, and the legs of the right triangle as either A or B. It didn't matter if this was B and this was A, or vice versa. Now, moving forward, let's say we're in a situation where we don't have two sides to work with, because we need two sides, either A, B, or A, C, or B, C, whichever, to solve for missing sides of right triangles. But let's say we don't have two sides. We only have a side and an angle. So if we have a side and an angle, then we need to figure out, well, if I have that, then how can I identify my opposite adjacent, adjacent and hypotenuse sides and use trigonometry to figure out the missing parts? So we would normally get angles in one of these corners because we already have a right triangle here. And we just need to identify, well, based on the perspective of this angle, if I'm looking this way, well, what is this side called? If I'm looking down this way, what is this side called? And the easiest thing for us is that when, well, since we have a right angle here, we know that this side is always going to be the hypotenuse side. So that we can easily get out of the way. Now we just need to focus on these two sides. Well, if we're looking from this perspective and we're looking this way, traveling from here to here, then this side is known as our opposite side. And the side touching this angle, right, this symbol here is called theta. If we're looking at this side touching this angle, this is known as our adjacent side. And remember that adjacent means something next to it, so that vocabulary will make sense in this case. And that's pretty much it when we're identifying um, opposite and adjacent sides, and uh, clearly the hypotenuse is always opposite of the right angle. So let's look at a few problems on how to identify opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse sides. So if we're looking at the first problem, here our angle, our theta, is in this position, right? So again, we know opposite of our right angle is the hypotenuse, always. And if we draw our, ang our arrow from here, from this angle theta to this side, this is our opposite side. And we know any side touching the theta, that's not the hypotenuse, must be the adjacent side. Okay, and that was it for problem one. Now let's look at this, where the theta is now in this upper portion of the triangle. Well, again, we're going to identify our hypotenuse opposite of the right angle, hypotenuse. I'm gonna I'm gonna shorten it to HYP. Opposite of our theta, this will now be our opposite side. And again the side touching our theta or our angle will be the adjacent side. And you see how when the angle switch the opposite and adjacent side switch, so that's pretty much an idea that you want to keep in mind. Alright, so let's do this again. We have har hypotenuse, HYP, from this theta to this side is going to be our opposite. I'm going to shorten that to OPP, and this remaining side has to be our adjacent side. I'm going to shorten that to ADJ. Sorry about the delay, guys. My camera cut out. Um, so yeah, moving forward, now we're on problem four, and again, we're still identifying which side is adjacent hypotenuse um, and opposite. So again, anything opposite of the right angle is the hypotenuse. This side is our opposite, and our leftover side is our adjacent. And then last but not least, we have our final problem. Here I've written, um, I've replaced theta with an actual angle, in this case it's 31, again nothing really changes. We have our hypotenuse here, 
we have our opposite here and last but not least is our adjacent and that's pretty much it when it comes to identifying um, the opposite adjacent and hypotenuse of right triangles when you are given an angle so feel free to leave any questions or comments in the comment section below and we'll I'll be uploading another video on how to actually use the trigonometric the trigonometric functions um, when given a side and an angle. Alright guys, take care. Bye!